Hi, I'm Sally J. Pla, and I'm here to read to you guys today from my very first picture book. It's called Benji, The Bad Day, and Me. Benji, The Bad Day, and Me by Sally J. Pla, illustrated by Ken Min, and published by Lian Lo Books. At recess, I got yelled at for kicking the fence. At lunch, they ran out of my favorite pizza, so I didn't eat. And on the bus home, the driver missed my stop, so I had to walk all the way back in the rain. Now I'm hungry, cold, and wet. Grrr. Shh, says Mama as soon as I open the door. Benji's playing in his box. When Benji's in his box, it's because he's had a bad day at preschool. When Benji's had a bad day, we tiptoe and speak softly. When I've had a bad day, no one tiptoes or speaks softly. Benji, Mama, and I made that box last summer. Mama cut out the window flaps, and Benji and I splashed on the paint. Inside, it's cozy and safe, but only big enough for Benji. Benji in his blue blanket. I sure wish I had a box for days like this. Benji wiggles his fingers at me. Hi, Benji, I say softly. Benji's face appears. Wet Sammy, Benji says. Samuel, says Mama. There's water all over the floor. Take your shoes off this instant. It's not my fault I had to walk all that way in the rain. Benji's block city is spread all around. Watch your step, Mama says. Benji's been working hard on that. I know. I helped, I start to say. But Mama's phone rings and she turns away. I stick my tongue out at the box. I do my best karate kick high in the air above Benji's block city. ka -cha! I've always wanted to learn karate. Mama says I can't right now because the classes are on Tuesdays, and that's when we have to visit the super happy lady at Benji's clinic downtown. Let's bounce the ball! Super happy lady likes to say, but Benji never does. Let's play a game, but Benji never plays. Meanwhile, I'm told to sit in the waiting room and not bother anyone. On super happy lady days, we always get back home tired, so Mama will make berry smoothies to help us feel better. Then she'll wrap Benji tight in his big blue blanket, just how he likes, and tell him, You're my little burrito. But today there are no berry smoothies and no burritos. Today Mama is busy and Benji is hiding. This day is just plain old rotten. Bump goes the box. It's Benji kicking around in there. Hey, I say, come out and I'll teach you karate. But he doesn't. So I go to the kitchen and pour some cereal. But when I add the milk, too much gushes out. I'm grumpy, hungry, and cold. And now there's milk everywhere. I've had it with this fence-kicking, rain-dripping, milk-spilling day. I cry mad, sad, shivery tears. No one notices. Oh, but maybe somebody does notice. What do you see in this picture? Who's that inside the box, looking at Sammy crying? Thunk. Benji's coming out. He holds his blanket up high and tiptoes through the block city. Benji spreads his blanket flat on the floor.
what's he doing? He pulls me down on the fuzzy blueness and makes me lie straight and still. Then he rolls me over and over. He works hard to wrap me up tight. Benji leans over me. His forehead clunks my forehead. His eyes look right into my eyes. You're my little burrito, he says to me. I open the blanket and let Benji in. You're my little brother, I say. And that's how Mama finds us. Can I come in too? She asks. Whether the day is good or bad, Benji and I will be okay. That's because the two of us are brothers. Side by side is where we are and how we'll always be. The end.